you're looking to build your first website for your business in 2021, this course is going to teach you step by step how to do that with Joomla without coding or without any prior experience. So I look forward to you all taking this course. Before we even get started to build a website, you have to understand the different tools that you have or the options that you have. You know, a lot of times when people create websites, they just, you know, they're not even sure what they're using. So I'm going to go through today what's called page builders. What exactly is a page builder? Well, a page builder allows you to build websites just by dragging and dropping different items on your web page uh, without being a coder. When I started creating websites, you know, almost 20 years ago, you know, you have to hand code everything, you have to manually do everything, and it took so much time. So today we're going to look at three of the most popular Joomla page builders. And I'm gonna walk you through and demo for you and give you uh, the benefits for using the different ones, and then we're going to decide which one that we want to be able to go with for this particular site. And again, at the end of it, you're going to be very comfortable building websites with the page builders uh, from scratch, even if you've never used it. Um, before so let's get started here so what I have now is you have three of them the first one is uh, Balboa it's called grid box the next one is called quicks uh, by theme expert and then the next one is uh, page SP page bill by Joom shaper and we're gonna walk through all of these right now so let's first start off with the one uh, Balboa grid box and I'm going to put a link at the description so that you can be able to go to this and download it. Again, these they have a pro version and they have a free version. The goal of it is I want to get you up and going with the free version. Okay, so it costs you absolutely nothing for you to get started. So let's go over now and let's take a look here at uh, Gridbox. So this is the interface. It's very simple and it's very clean. And as I scroll down here, you notice that they already have a demo set up. And as I move my mouse over into different sections, it highlights uh, the editing part. So if I wanted to edit this, I can click here to clone it. Now, I'm not going to go into extensive details about all of this because I have courses that have gone through. I've created hundreds of videos that covers everything that you need to learn about Gridbox, Page Builder, and Quicks. But just a quick overview. This is where you click to save the items. Uh, this is the library of different items that you can save this is your plugins for the sections these are the hidden items that you have uh, there are times when you can be able to build what's called a building block and you can hide it if you don't want to show on specific pages or if you just want to hide it overall so this is the hidden section here and this is the keyboard shortcuts so if you wanted to use keyboard shortcuts you can just click uh, once you click there you can just use these here control s it's for save, control Z. So you go through here and see if you want to utilize. Now, uh, this is really helpful because it allows you to work a lot faster once you know uh, what those are. So let's go back here. And then this is where you go to your dashboard. So let's come at the very top. When you click down, you see desktop, laptop, landscape, and the different uh, responsive modes that you have. The thing about responsive modes is that you want to test your website on different uh, gadgets to see how they look. So let's see how this looks on a laptop. You see automatically just adjust and you can try it out on a tablet landscape. So each one you want to make sure that you go through and just see what your website is going to look like. I see so many people that don't do this and then their website doesn't look right at all. So let's go back to the default. And you can adjust and edit how you want it to look for each one. So, so for example, with Gridbox, if you wanted to have it to look a little different on the laptop, you can click here to edit. And then you can change whatever you need to change. You can change the design. You can change the layout. You can change uh, different things here. So it's very simple as you move your mouse. Wherever you move your mouse, you can edit. You see right here, you see this green. You click to edit. That's going to give you the options where you can add it there. You can change the background. You can add alt image. You can add a link. You can disable on certain devices. Let's say you didn't want this to show up on, uh, on a tablet or on a phone. You can just click here. So this right now is in the laptop. Okay, so let's go back here. If you want to disable on any particular device, you can do that as well. And you can edit this to section. As you see here, the section 
covers everything in this section. So if I put my mouse over here and I click to edit, this is where I can come in and change this background image. Let's say I didn't want this background image. I wanted a gradient. Just like that, I've changed it to a gradient. If I wanted to add, let's say, a video, I can do the same thing as well. If I have a custom image, I can do that as well. And you can adjust the color schemes that you see. Are you want linear or do you want radial? So as you change it, it gives you that option. You can change the colors. Uh, that's one of the beautiful things too about page builders is that it allows you to change the color scheme for what you want to do. So let's go back from gradient. Let's go back to one color. You can have it as that. So this is how you go and you, you know, you can change that background. So let's go back here. Let's go to desktop. And as you scroll down, you can do the same thing too to add. You can edit. You can add more plugins. So how do you add a plugin? When you put your mouse over any section, you're going to see this plus. When you click on there, it pulls up all the different add-ons, all the content that you can be able to add. So you see you can add an accordion, you can add a button, a carousel. And there are quite a few add-ons here that you can be able to utilize based on what you want to do. Now, this may not make a lot of sense now, but as we start to build the website, then you're going to see how all this plays out. So if you want to add a social icon, for example, you can put a comment box. If you wanted to add categories, we're going to cover that later on in accordion. But so I wanted to add that. And there you have the accordion that I just added on right here. And I could also delete it. Now I've deleted it. And then you go to the right site here. You see your settings. Now the settings, this is where you can, you know, when people come in your website for the browser, uh, you can change this to whatever your website name is or whatever your product or service that you're offering. The alias is just ex explanation on the browser part. So when people come in your website, this is what uh, you know, it's going to be something like your website dot com forward slash about us or info or whatever you want to put. And then you have your class suffixes here. We're not going to worry much about that. You go to publish. Now, the beautiful thing about page builders is that if you want to be able to create content for specific groups of people, right? You don't want this to be available to everyone. Let's say you have a membership website. Well, you can you can restrict this to just specific groups of people, right? You can do this for just this page or you can do it for the entire website. Then you can choose your publishing start date and you can choose the language. So this has a multilingual capabilities. You can do that. And then you have your SEO. You can put for SEO purposes, your title, your description, keywords. Now for the robots, if you don't want the search engines to be able to index your website, in other words, you don't want anyone to like the robots like Googlebot to come in and index it so that it can put it out there for search, then you don't, you just keep this as uh, no index, no follow. And what that means is that the search engines, they will not index it and they will not follow it. Now, you're asking, why would you want to do something like that? Great question. There's some pages on your website that you don't care about search engines crawling or indexing it. Maybe it's a private page. You don't really want them to. So that's when this makes sense. And then you come in for sharing. You can share it with when people are sharing it. You want to grab a link here or an image here. So when people share the link, this is the image that is going to show. And then you have your title. And then you have your description and you have your sitemap. Now, sitemaps play a very vital role in how frequently your site information is updated with the search engine. So you can have include items or if you want to not include them. So when you do that, you click this drop down here. It asks you how often, how frequent do you want, you know, for things to be uh, updated, how often you're going to update it. Now, if you have a very busy website, then of course you want to do it like daily or you can do hourly if you really have a site that do a lot of content, you know, every few hours or so, then you can do this. But for the most part, you know, most people live it at, you know, monthly uh, or daily. You can also have included items. How frequently if you change the included items here, this is how frequently uh, that that goes but we we'll just leave it at monthly for now. So that's the SEO part of it. Now, another thing that Gridbox has too is the ability for you to, you know, it had e-commerce um, store, which we're going to cover that later on. But when you go to, let's say you go to add new plugin, when you say you can search or you can just scroll down, when you go to the section that has the different apps, 
And that is one of the reasons why I really, really love Gridbox because it has its own search engine, it has its own e-commerce incorporated in there. With other extensions, you have to buy separately a third party. But what they've done is they've built and they've incorporated it into the grid box. So with the apps here, you have different recent posts. Uh, you have your store. If you want to build an e-commerce store to sell products, you can add the store. You can add the wish list, search store. So this is one of the things that I really love about it, just to have that ability. And of course, the third party plugins that they also d develop is called the forms, uh, which we, we may take a look at the forms later. But the forms is really if you want to build custom forms uh, now, if you want to add, you know, uh, different things uh, to your forms, capture information. And when someone clicks submit, it automatically sends them, you know, uh, uh, we know what to fill out. So we'll take a look at that later on. You have Balboa Gallery and then, of course, you have the Joomla module. So these are just the different add ons that you have access to uh, with. Again, with the free version, you're going to be limited. But with the pro version, you have access to everything. So that pretty much covers everything uh, that we need to do. So when you click on you click on a dashboard, then it's going to take you on the back end. Just click just save it because I'm not really using so. It's going to take you here on the back end from from the front. And once you click here, then you come back here. And this is the back end of it that you can be able to, you know, check your online store. You can add products. You can add, you know, special offers. Um, so, again, I just wanted to give you a little bit of, you know, taste of what you're getting. And another thing, too, is you have themes. All of these here, they have themes that you can be able to use. Let's go back here. You go to themes. And then what the themes are, you can be able to use uh, themes that they've pre-designed for you um, and you can use that as your starting point. And then you have the e-commerce, your payment methods, sh uh, shipping, promo codes, all that good stuff right there. So great box is one option and it gives you a lot. As you scroll down, the uh, interface is very clean and they use a lot of spacing with how their stuff is designed and you have flexibility and control over every aspect of your your building process so and then you can also add things to your menu you can also go and check out the pages that you've already created so this is a, a overview of the you know grip box you see here portfolio link zero app hotel rooms so now we're going to take a look at another extension 